Go Spurs. Pulled off the W and OT. Alrighty. All right, what's up, uh, YouTube and horror fans alike? Uh, I wanted to do something a little different for this video. I'm going to be highlighting one specific film for each year that it was released in the 80s. Like for example, I'm going to start off with The Shining for 1980, and then for 1981, I picked out another film that was released in that year, and so forth until I get to 1989. So, like I said, this video is going to highlight the oh so wonderful 80s. So, without further ado, Here's my list of 10 titles from the 80s decade. And of course, like I said, Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece, The Shining. This is a film that needs to be taught and probably is taught in film schools. Uh, wonderful location set, uh, beautifully shot, you know, Overlook Hotel, um, The Shining, we all know about it. I was released in uh, 1980. Then we have uh, Toby Hooper's Funhouse. Um, great uh, slasher type film. I like the really the reality of the you know the carnival. It makes you really feel like the uh, the carnivals that I, that I remember going to at least. You know uh, the fun houses and everything. So yeah, it's a great film. I mean, check it out if you haven't seen it. Recommend it. Uh, another Toby Hooper film, Poltergeist. Very, this is a really one, I mean, of course y'all know about it, but very creepy, cinematic, great film, uh, you know, kind of like the haunted house type film, and also uh, one of my favorite directors, uh, uh, oh my god, James Wan, I was thinking Lee, Lee Winnell, James Wan, in one of his interviews I remember saying this is uh, his all time favorite uh, scary movie, but yes, the first uh, original, Poltergeist, very spooky, very creepy. That's a 1982. 1983, my birth year, and I'm very happy to be associated with that. It's, of course, the first sleepaway camp. Um, one of the best, of course, one of the best twist endings in a horror film, in film, uh, probably. Um, so, yeah, the first sleepaway camp that started the, uh, the trilogy, the original one here. Great slasher. Very great slasher, campy uh, horror movie. All right, and now we all know Nightmare on Elm Street, the very first one that started, the original one, the, the most, I, I could say the most scariest one before uh, Freddy became more, uh, you know, more campier and with his uh, punchlines and one-liners. But the first Nightmare on Elm Street with uh, Heather Landing Camp, very great film. That's 1984. 1985, one of my uh, favorite uh, vampire movies and a lot of fav guys' favorite vampire, vampire movies. I'm not going to say everybody's, I mean, but this is uh, the original Fright Night. And I remember watching this one a lot when I was young. This is probably also one of the movies that started me off watching horror. This one and the uh, remake of uh, Night of the Living Dead. But I remember always watching this one. I could, this is one of the movies that, you know, a lot of people say this is a movie that I could watch all day long. Yeah, this one I could watch a few times a year for sure. Very, very, very good. Uh, Good story, and then that cover art, man, that was always creeping me out at the video stores. So, uh, Fright Night, 1985. Now, <clears throat> Video Terror, 1986. This is a, a obviously a B movie. I think Charles Band uh, produced it. I'm sure. Um, this is really, I mean, it's it's a comedy. This is more meant to be a comedy with the horror in it. Um, this satellite dish and it's, it's transmitting a, a creature that goes into a home of a, a swinger couple home I guess you could say it, they are swingers and then uh, all, all the characters are over the top you know the grandpa the kid though were the kids only the only normal one but the mom dad and the uh, the daughter but uh yeah I mean this is a practical fix and uh, a time practical fix you know all the splatter and the some of the gore terror vision 1986 and then Next to it, Video Dead, 1987. Now, this one is more low budget than the, uh, I mean, they're both low budget, but this one's more lower. But this is uh, where uh, the zombies were coming out of the TV set. And I could say the um, makeup effects are really good for this time, for, you know, for 1987. On um, the zombies and the, the bride zombie, the old lady zombie, 
she looked really good. I mean, they, they had good uh, makeup effects and uh, the uh, also the costume design on, on these uh, zombies was really good. All the tethered clothing and I, I really did enjoy that. You know, they, they, they did a good job. So there it is, in 1986 and 1987, Terror Vision and the, the Video Dead. So and everybody knows Killer Clowns from Outer Space, one of the best campy, uh, cheesy movies that everybody loves. I don't think anybody hates this movie. They say they hate it. Some people say, oh, I hate this, but they know deep inside that they do love it. Now, this is 1988, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Hopefully it needs to get a reboot, remade. I know these children brothers been saying that. Uh, but I guess uh, we'll see it if it ever does come through. Get a class from outer space. And, of course, last but not least, 1989, The Intruder. This is a very good uh, slasher film. I really do enjoy this one. Um, this guy, I mean, I don't want to give any spoilers out, but, I mean, kind of give it away, you know, just by looking at the, the cover. But very... uh. Very good uh, slasher, you know, fit, set in the uh, super supermarket store. I remember I used to work at a supermarket store, so I can relate to this. When I was in high school, I used to work at a supermarket store that looked kind of similar to this one. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, I enjoyed this one, 1989, The Intruder. All right, guys, well, that was uh, the year of uh, the decade, 1980s, and I decided just to kind of make this little different video. I'm sure there's other videos like this on YouTube, uh, but uh, probably do the 19... 90 or 1970 maybe give me some comments guys and then i'll get that one up for y'all next week appreciate it guys peace